What's up all you cool kids? This is Daisy Collins of CinemaRose.net coming at you live from my craft room here in Las Vegas, Nevada as I do Monday through Friday bringing you journal content and videos. I'm still going live tonight. We are working on some little golden books but for today um, during this uh, live during the day <laughs> I am here because I need to do a flip through of these two journals that I have been working on for the last couple weeks I believe. Um, and these are my hexagon patchwork junk journals. These are pretty much overstuffed, fully decorated. They got all metal corners and they also come with their own little junk journal charm of their own that I made, of course, myself. And, uh, they're just beautiful. I made these, uh, hexagon patchwork covers from, uh, old bed sheets. And, uh, so I learned how to sew them all together. So this is like legit all sewn together <laughs> uh, hexagon patchwork. Um, so yeah, let me start off with number 97. And this one kind of has like a dark burgundy, um, dark burgundy thread going around all the hexagons. They look really, really cute. I really like this color. Again, four metal corners. You get a beautiful little junk journal charm here that I made myself. And I did add it to this little bulldog clip. So it just clips on and clips off your junk journal just like that. Very easily. Three signatures, signatures fully de decorated, actually overstuffed. Very, very overstuffed. It will not stay closed. But that's because I include a lot of uh, journal cards and such. On the inside, you have another uh, fabric. Um, uh, so, yeah, every single page pretty much has something in it. Uh, everything is from my shop. All the digitals are from my store. So uh, here's a tag I made from some book pages. I always like to include a couple tags. Um, there are a lot of journal pages. There is a lot of places to write, a lot of journaling spots, a lot of journal cards that you can write on. Um, pretty much uh, this is for someone to track their thoughts. I included journal spots where there normally is no writing space. And uh, there is really no theme to this other than, of course, I always do floral. So you'll see flowers throughout the whole journal. That's really the only uh, continuing theme on this right here. I just uh, wanted to include all the things that I've made um, and all the embellishments that I have. Wanted to include those. I have a lot of my new printables in here. Um, really cute embellishments that I sewed together. There's a lot of work going into these journals and I'm really proud of them. They are beautiful. They are overstuffed. Um, but again, they're going to be a lot of fun for you to work with. I've also printed on the back of most of the journal cards. That way you have some more journaling lines, more journal space there for you or for whoever you want to uh, have this journal go to. It would make a beautiful gift for anybody. Um, that just wants somewhere to record their thoughts. And uh, I have a lot of text spots. Every text spot, every uh, pocket has something inside. That's why it's <laughs> that's why it's so stuffed. But um, it was a lot of fun to make this. It was a lot of fun to make the covers, a lot of fun to decorate. Everything was a lot of fun. Hi, um, as y'all already know, I really enjoy making my junk journals as fun, as colorful as I possibly could. This is from my vintage uh, linen downloadable, printable. I love it. So there's book pages in here. Some pretty scrapbook pages that are pretty colorful. Some printables right there. Again, I, that one should have been printed on the back of the book. Anyways, here's a pocket that I made, a little patchwork pocket. A lot of fun went into these journals. Of course, I make everything live here on my channel. So if you didn't know that, you can check me out Monday through Friday usually at 10 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Uh, so join me anytime, and I'm always here on my channel doing something. Here's a little pocket right here. Some little things inside. Again, just very floral, very floral themed here. I think those are the same flowers. <laughs> That's funny. And, of course, it also has my... Um, bed sheet ruffles or pleats, whatever you want to call them. Some people call them ruffles, some people call them pleats, whatever. Here's some more journal cards in here. Each little pocket like this pretty much has like two 
journaling cards in there. I think each of these journals has like over 40 journaling cards in it stuffed in different places. Again, very, very much so. Hi, hi, uh, Monique. How are you? I hope you are doing well. I hope your family is doing well, girl. Uh, again, here's another one of my um, vintage linen printables, which I have been loving to include in my um, journals. This is one of my uh, envelopes here. And it has like a little journal card inside. Oh, yeah, I'm so excited to be adding the uh, junk journal charms to my journals now that I have them finished. Really excited about that. So from now on, my journals will have charms and stuff. Uh, the person who purchased, I believe, was it number 95? No, 97. No, 96. 96. Um, I didn't show that journal with the uh, metal corners or the charms, but you'll also get that too. So that'll be going out to you tomorrow. Very, very excited. A lot of work went into these. But, of course, it is a labor of love. This is what I love doing. And I thank you all so much for your support. If you did want to check out this uh, journal or the one that's, that I'm going to show off next, uh, there is the link if you want to check it out. I created these little uh, sentiments. I had to finish this uh, file so I can put it up for sale. But um, I decided to use it here. And they are just super cute little sentiments. Very cool. I printed that right in label. <sighs> Mint tea is so good. Here's a little uh, tech spot right here. Just made from some uh, scrap pieces of paper. Uh, this is from my vintage women's principles. This has, I believe, 30 pages. I have two sets, 30 pages of uh, side to side women's uh, vintage images, and they go great in signatures. Here's, again, some other little cards, a little button card, and a little journaling card. This I printed out really small. Sometimes you just need a small journal, journal card. Uh, put my package to my little bro. She loved how I packed it with all your labels. Ooh. This is a, uh, I try to include something vintage in every journal since now I have vintage stuff. This is some sort of letter from Massachusetts Historical Society from 1949, and uh, I don't even know what it says, but it's cute, so I decided to include it in here. You can write on the back of it. You could do some, some stuff with that. So again, every single page has something to look at. Here's some more journaling cards, but again, I printed on the back of scrap of paper, and then this is from, my, um, from one of my ephemera sets right here. Bingo card right here. I should have printed it on the back of that, but bingo card right here. And I did use some of the pages from my um, Ambrosia in Vogue journal kit. And uh, yeah, this is a vintage uh, wallpaper. And then the first uh, signature has my uh, paper patchwork. I did some paper patchwork a while ago. I'm actually obsessed with doing this. I do this a lot, even on my spare time when I have nothing else to do. I'll just sit there and glue uh, pieces of paper together. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I do have a lot of those pages around somewhere. Okay, again, I did add some journaling space where there normally isn't. Here's some more journaling cards in this pocket right here. So much stuff to do. This is some uh, coffee dyed... Uh, Vintage ephemera printable. And uh, I did, ha I had a lot of fun with these journals. The cover was fun. Decorating was fun. So much fun. So much fun. Journals, uh, junk journals are never, <laughs> never not fun for me. I really enjoy making every single one. There's, I believe, three, six, nine, nine doilies uh, throughout the journal in between the signatures. This is, again, for my vintage linen printable. And it's so beautiful. This is actually an old vintage hanky I purchased on, on uh, eBay at one point. I was trying to put vintage hankies on my um, curtains. <laughs> that didn't end up working out, but I'd used them for some things. <laughs> so there's that. Uh, here we go. I have some really positive quotes in here. Um, some beautiful floral uh imagery of course throughout the whole journal journal cards journal spaces everywhere it's just fun fun journal here 
lot of pages. I believe uh, each one of these journals has like 30 plus pages, usually like 40 pages in the three signatures right there. Here's another, um, another ephemera piece. Another one here, I do print uh, so you can write on it. Uh, putting on printable fabric sheets. Printing on printable fabric sheets. You know what would be cool? No, that would, that would be interesting. I could print my own fabric. Journal cards in here too. Some uh, vintage uh, recipes that are fun to add to these journals. I like making everything colorful, nice and bright, but still adding vintage stuff, but very, very bright. That journal card has lines on the back of it. Here's another journal card. Some journal cards I'll print on the back of a cardstock scrapbook paper. Here is a tag I made a while ago. And yeah, that is junk journal number 97. I always sign them and number them. And that is number 97. Okay, let's go on to number 98. And these are so stuffed. <laughs> they, they will not, they will not close. Uh, so this is number 98. And this one has a brown thread in between all the hexagons. Still my hexagon patchwork vintage bed sheets that I used for it. You got a beautiful little charm for it. I'm excited to make more charms. <laughs> that video is coming soon on how to add those charms to your journals. Oh, I did want you to know that um, there is a slight imperfection right here on both of these journals on the back uh, part of the cover. This part right here is not exactly glued down entirely perfectly. It does it here too. If you can see it, it kind of like bulges there. So I did want to point that out. Don't want anybody to say that I, you know, didn't. Didn't uh, mention that. I do. <laughs> I do want to mention, mention that slight imperfection. Hi, Jude. How are you? Again, so you get the um, paper patchwork cover here for this page. I thought I was going to sneeze, but I didn't. <laughs> I did not. Um, here's a journal card right here, a little tuck spot. I love making these little um, bell jar embellishments. I got to make more of those. I've been having such a fun time working with the embellishments I've already made that I am actually running out. <laughs> so I will have to make some embellishments. Uh, give me one moment, you guys, once. Okay, my bad. We're back. We are back. Again, you still get the um, fabric ruffles throughout the whole journal. Uh, I'm good, hon. How are you? I am good. Thank you. Thank you, Jude, so much for your um, support and for coming and hang out with us. Last couple days, I will come back live tonight in case y'all are wondering. Little mini postcard here, a little journal card. Again, they should be either printed on the back of with something or I use a scrap of paper. Okay, there they go. And that one didn't go in my goodness. Okay. I try to decorate every little nook and cranny that I could. Again, you get doilies in between all the signatures. They look really cute. Positive quotes, positive attitude throughout the whole journal. Lots of colors, lots of journal cards. Really enjoyed everything. I even had fun cutting out the journal cards. I don't know what it is. I, I There's really, other than like sewing in the signatures, I don't think there's a part of junk journals that I don't like. <laughs> I always, always, always like pretty much every single part of making a journal. Uh, here's a journal card right here. Again, printed on lined paper. And then um, you got the vintage recipes, which are adorable. For this one, it is Hidden Valley Ranch chicken breasts. <laughs> and uh, again, journaling space everywhere that I could. 
even where I didn't really need it. I got to glue this down. This type of shiny paper is kind of hard to, to glue stuff down on. And I always forget that I need to use a glue stick instead of my regular, <laughs> my regular glue. So we'll fix that right there. And uh, here's some more journaling space right here. Again, I decorate every single page, but since these journals, I imagine these journals being used uh, for writing, I, uh, I try and uh, put make everything that I put on the page nice and flat so it doesn't uh, really disturb you when you attempt to write in it. Here's this beautiful pocket. I need to find more pretty treat bags. And when I find them, I need to buy more of them because apparently I'm all out. And now Dollar Tree doesn't have any cute ones. <laughs> so now I'm like, ah. <laughs> I got to I gotta check out. I, I have some more new treat bags, but... Just not as cute as they used to be, you know. Again, this is from my uh, vintage linen printables. Love it, love it. They look so cute, especially with the scalloped edge like this. So pretty. What a fun little detail right there. What is this one? This one is number 98. Number 98 is this one right here. Again, I made these really cute um, quotes uh, that I need to finish up and put up for sale. But I just, I wanted to include them in this journal because I thought they looked really cute. Here is one of those um, patchwork pockets uh, that I need to make more of, actually. Um, again, I used my Ambrosia and Vogue journal pages, my junk journal kit. It's my new junk journal kit, if y'all are interested. Uh, so that's the first signature. Here's the second, again, vintage wallpaper right there for the second signature. I think I did that for all of them, if I'm not mistaken. Um, here's a pretty little flower right there. Just a lot of fun details in this overstuffed journal that I did a lot of work in. And it's just so pretty. Everything is so pretty on this journal. This is one of the um, original uh, journal cards. I did scan these and make them available as a printable, but here's an original card right there. Um, again, for my vintage women's printable. So come back tonight, y'all, and I'll be making um, a whole new uh a whole new journals tonight from uh, starting from yesterday's live. I am starting on some little golden books. If y'all are interested, I have three of them going on. I don't know why I do things in number three, but I do. <laughs> I, I noticed I, I make three journals at a time. I don't know why. Um, again, here's the, those quotes I need to put up. And I actually use the same colors as I did for my junk journal spots. So this one was a fun page to put. I got to put something here for this text box. I put every, something in every text box and pocket. Again, same with this journal. There's something to look at everywhere. I have stuffed these journals with a lot of fun, I swear. Here's a fun pocket here with this um, junk journal tag I made. Another um, vintage recipe or rare hot dog beans. I don't even know what that is. Apparently, it's a thing. Hot dog beans. <laughs> Oops. There's a little piece of tape here for when I take pictures. The little doilies jump out, so I add a little piece of tape. <laughs> Just when I take pictures. I forgot about that one. <laughs> okay, so here's the inside here. The middle middle signature, middle page. I put some uh, this really pretty paper here that has a, a really positive quote. And this is one of my favorite post-its that I've ever found. i got to find more of those. I love it. Thank you, Jude. I'm glad you like it too. Isn't it fun? I just, I had a lot of fun putting these together. I really did. Except for, like I said, sewing in the signatures, which is the one part that I'm just like, ugh, <laughs> about junk journals. But other than that, I, I really do have fun every step of the way, even designing the pages, designing the journal cards. Y'all know this is what I live for. And um, I do want to thank y'all so much for your support. So that I can uh, keep on doing what I love, y'all. It is great. I think I need to put something in here, too. So I'll be putting something in there. In this envelope that I made. There's a journal card. Uh, a, a postcard. My goodness. Postcard. <laughs> right there that I designed. I got to finish up this file because I really like how... Uh, the quotes look in the journals. Hi, it is April. What's going on, girlfriend? Long time no see. 
I have to um I'll have to text you something later. Here's a ruffled <laughs> journal card I made a while ago. And again, I like to use the vintage um recipe recipes in, in my journals. I bought a, a lot of like 200 vintage recipes. <laughs> Here's another one of them right here. This, this one looks adorable though. This one looks so cute. I love it. I love it. Okay, so we're on to the last signature of junk journal number 98. And uh, again, we got doilies all throughout. We got colorful pages all throughout. We got flowers all throughout. And there's some hummingbird images in here. Some butterflies. There's a lot of fun stuff in this journal. There really is. <laughs> Here's a journal card and a tag and a little jar here you can write on. And this pocket was actually meant to be a journal card, but I've kind of been sticking them in my journals as pockets. You could still write on it. I just think it looks kind of cute. And this is fabric right here. Again, we got my uh, fabric ruffles going on throughout the whole journal. This is my um, vintage piece for this book. It is uh, a little pamphlet on how to properly set up your furnace. <laughs> Okay, there's that sneeze I was waiting for. <laughs> and of course I printed this on the back. Um, I, I used the uh, one of my vintage linen printables right here. These were a lot of fun to add to the pages. They really were, they really add like this cute little detail. Again, everything that is that you see in this journal is pretty much from my store, unless it's scrap of paper that, <laughs> that I bought at, at Michael's or something like that. Here's some more journaling cards in here. Excuse me and my allergies. And we're almost done here. A lot of journaling space again. <laughs> that one has tape on it too. Sorry. <laughs> That's from when I take pictures again. Because <laughs> you see, otherwise it does this. So I tape it down. It just looks better in pictures. Just so you know, there's a little trick for you. <laughs> there is a little trick. Maria. Hi, Maria. Thank you so much. Um, so, yeah, I hope y'all join me tonight when I um, continue on uh, making, I guess this would be junk journal number 99, 100, and 101. Crazy how we're, <laughs> I'm at 100 junk journals. Here is a vintage ephemera, but it's a printable, but it looks really good. <laughs> I scanned these myself, so it looks really good. When it prints out, it looks lovely. Okay, so here's the last few pages in here. This is a tuck spot right here. You can put something there. See, like that. And it just makes a really cute pocket there. So we got my journal cards. Got another vintage uh, recipe here you can do for turkey roast with Waldorf stuffing. That sounds fancy. Sounds real fancy. Another doily here. Another, another page. Um, another side of the vintage linen printables, which are just so pretty. Another journal card here. Lots of embellishments that I've made here on my channel. Of course, I do junk journal. Junk journaling pretty much every single night. So do come and join me. Do subscribe to my channel. That is it for these journals, you guys. Thank you guys so much for joining me here on the flip through. I have been having so much fun making these and I do um, appreciate y'all joining me live. Pretty much every single day <laughs> tape yeah there's tape uh for the photos <laughs> okay you guys thank you so much for joining me these are very big journals <laughs> very overstuffed lots of fun things to look at um come check me out tonight you guys i'm going to continue on my little golden books that i started and uh, thank you guys so much for joining me on this flip through thank you guys so much for your support and i will see y'all tonight bye